Hey, welcome to another radio review, and this is the Degen DE15 shortwave portable shortwave radio. So this is a small little Degen digital radio with DSP, digital signal processing, using a silicon chips. Um, I believe is a 4034. DSP chip for processing. So what it does is actually it's uh, instead of having selectivity filters and stuff like that everything is done electronically in the uh, little digital chip. So the Digen D1103 is a nice little shortwave radio very slim very thin so it's really really something like an ultra portable it's very very small and so the key features of uh, this radio is the fact that it receives um, the FM band medium wave short wave and has this uh, kind of extended FM band that starts uh, much lower than the regular 88108 band and so it's a nice little digital uh, PLL synthesized receiver and so it has a very nice little display here the receiver is a cool receiver and so you can see here this is the back it works on uh, three double a uh, triple A batteries sorry so three triple triple A batteries and has a little reset here in the back so uh, that you can actually uh, Choose so uh, reception of the AM band from 530, 522 to 1710 kHz. So expanded AM band is there. FM is uh, from about 64 megahertz up to 108 in two different little bands. And shortwave is from uh, 2.3 to 23 megahertz. So it includes all international shortwave bands and all the in between. So it's not like tuning a radio that jumps from band to band it does tune continuously from 2.3 to 23 megahertz um, this radio has of course alarm clock possibility and uh, comes with a nice little adapter for uh, charging its uh, internal batteries uh, when you put rechargeable batteries of course and so uh, the receiver also comes with a little carrying pouch it uh, has the this you can see here the three batteries that are included with it are Degen uh, AAA rechargeables and so um, it's really cool because you can actually charge this uh, little battery uh, by the adapter itself it takes about uh, four or five hours and you've got a fully charged radio and gives you uh, maybe I would say 15 to 20 hours of radio listening uh, on every charge. So it uses a digital circuitry, like I said, because it's a DSP radio. And actually, what's interesting on this radio is the fact that um, tuning is kind of an analog type radio, but it is all controlled by an internal chip so it's kind of it's really digital but it's not PLL synthesized it's not the same type of reception as most receivers um, it's really more of a digital tuning uh, which is very particular for a receiver so um, DSP which is called digital signal processing is supposed to improve reception and on some ways it does improve the reception on this radio because it gives a selectivity that is much better than most radios so tuning in a signal very close to another strong signal actually is very amazing on this radio the problem is by adding a DSP that actually uh, has such a small selectivity output it actually changes the audio and even though the speaker is small 
you can see that it's more of the digital circuitry that actually makes the receiver audio kind of a little uh, muffled and a little more difficult to understand. Another weird feeling on this radio is the fact that when you're tuning a set or a station, and the station, you know, on shortwave stations tend to fade in and out. The problem is once signals fade out, the DSP is not like an analog uh, type of audio. It doesn't just fade out slowly and come back in slowly. It actually cuts off. So what you'll have is reception of a station and then well, no reception of a station. Then well, you've got reception of a station. So it's really awkward in the way that it's receiving because of that. Because of the fact that instead of actually using part of the circuitry being more like a conventional radio and part of it being with the DSP chip, uh, it really makes reception kind of weird. <clears throat> Apart from that, it's quite sensitive. This radio actually is as sensitive almost as any other receiver. But because of the audio that's not that great, it's not super cool to listen to. But hey, it's not too expensive, you know. It's, this radio is like $25, $30. So it's not really expensive. The uh, backlit display, if this radio is amazing. If you look at it here, you can see the nice green display. It's really, really beautiful. Um, of course, you've got memory channels, so you can actually um, store the uh, favorite frequencies in memory. And so here you've got the buttons to recall these channels and all, and you have the uh, shortwave band switch. So when you want to switch from one band to the other, uh, you press the shortwave band switch. That is a little another annoying feature of this radio, is the fact that there's no numeric keypad to enter. So what happens is that you have to actually press that shortwave switch button and press until you're in two or the closest to the band you want to listen to and then you have to take that up down plus or minus here to actually go up to the frequency where you want to listen so uh, if uh, you're tuning a frequency that's kind of far away of the presets of the shortwave it's kind of very annoying you can compensate by actually putting the frequencies or favorite frequencies into memory channels so that you don't have to actually do that uh, tuning all of the time. It's very slim, very easy to bring along on trips and um, but the problem again being the audio not being that cool uh, I kind of, you know, like the radio for the way it is. I kind of like the fact that its form factor is very slim. Uh, but I would have enjoyed having a little better audio and um, better signal processing also. But for a $25 to $30 radio that has uh, DSP, you can't ask for too much. Um, of course, the uh, listening of FM signals on this radio is made in um, stereo through the uh, earphone jack here at the top. On the left side, you've got this mini USB that is right here. Uh, so you can actually charge it not only with the adapter that comes with the radio, but you can charge it on a computer and this is very standard mini USB like you have in digital cameras so you can actually charge your radio on the computer if you want to you've got the key lock here and you've got the volume up, volume up and down right here uh, one of the key problems also with outdoor listening on this radio is the fact that the volume level is low so if you're outside your volume is always going to be at the maximum level and even then it's not necessarily strong enough if you're in a little noisy environment uh, outdoors. As for the reception conditions, well it's sensitive on shortwave just with the telescopic antenna you already pick up a lot of signals. Uh, it's sensitive on medium wave. It's an okay performer on FM, nothing special but it's an okay performer. Of course, look at the videos, we'll have tests of all of these bands separately 
on videos. And uh, the uh, Degen DE15 uh, lacks a little bit of features to make it really worthwhile. For example, the um, DSP chip used in this radio is actually programmable and you can change the different selectivity filter settings and I would have enjoyed to have at least a little button that kind of changes through the different settings so I can uh, make the filters wider if I want from time to time and the narrower if I don't want from time to time. So uh, this is the DGN D15 receiver, it's a DSP receiver and so if you enjoy these radio lookbacks and reviews um, click the subscribe button at the top of the screen you'll be informed of all the videos we put online and if you have any comments or questions feel free to ask it's always fun to have feedback from everyone so thanks for watching and hope to uh, see you again on our radio channel 73's